everybody and welcome to the channel. It's Paul Astra here and today we're going to talk about a couple of new banners that have come into the game and a lot of people have been asking me in chat how I got these banners so I'm just going to give you a quick rundown to make sure that it's clear to you. So there's new two new banners in the game that are connected to the most recent cosmetic collections. The first one is the the Techware uh, collection banner connected to Kate Denson. The, this is the Techware collection here. They found themselves in a strange lost realm dressed in unrecognizable attire. The Techware collection returns with a new batch of outfits for Zarina, Jonah, Kate, Nia, David, and the Trickster. Now, the, the banner you see here is connected specifically to uh to kate the second banner that we're going to talk about is connected to the uh, gothic tales collection uh it's called the gothic forest banner ghosts roam these halls regal in death as they were in life gothic tales echo through the chamber whispering of the new outfits for vittorio felix jane and jake so that's the gothic tales and the gothic forest banner now, there have been a few different questions about these banners. Uh, one being, why is the Techware banner tied specifically to Kate and not just like given to you if you buy anything from the Techware collection? In the future, I don't think banners should be limited to buying a specific outfit for a character. If it's from the same collection, Killer or Survivor, you should get access to it. While we may have the occasional character-specific badge or banner in the future, we'll be focusing on collections rather than cosmetics as of the next update. And this is just because specifically the banner has elements of Kate Denson's outfit in it. Also, we can show you that here in a minute, but that's why that's tied specifically to her and isn't just released for any techware purchase. And then the other question was... Um, are these banners limited time or will they unlock if I buy the skin in the future? There's no time limit to unlock these banners and you'll receive them when purchase you'll receive them when purchasing Kate Denson's cosmetic in the future or anything from the Gothic, Ta Gothic Tales collection, including when it becomes purchasable with iridescent shards. So the new program, any original cosmetics that aren't seasonal, after four weeks, if it's for an original character, they will unlock and make it uh, purchasable for you with um, iridescent shards. So in the future, you can buy the Kate or anything from the Gothic Tales collection and unlock both of those banners with iridescent shards. That'll work too. Another subject that came up in chat is that people were suggesting that it was a ripoff that they had to wait four weeks for cosmetics to unlock for shards. And my argument back to that was that this is a, a big improvement from the way that things used to be. And I said, let's just pick any collection at random from the past of how things used to be, where there were cosmetics that were always Oryx cells only that ev never unlocked for shards. And I just, I said, I have a back catalog of all of the streams that I put out for when things release. So let's just go look. So I went and found this Waterfront Massacre cosmetic collection from a few years ago. And you can see here that when that released that was the claudette the jane the trapper and the hillbilly cosmetic for waterfront massacre and of those four only one of them was purchasable on release day for iridescent shards and the other three were oryx cells only in perpetuity you could only ever get those by spending oryx cells so the fact that you can get all of the original character cosmetics with iridescent shards if you just wait Four weeks is great, like because those were Oryx cells only forever until the new program came in, and then they made it retroactive that they unlocked all original cosmetics for shards. So yeah, uh, you have to wait, but you can get them instead of they're always money only. You know, so this is a way way more um, user friendly system that uh, you could get the playtime shards, cosmetics for playtime shards. Now, are the playtime shards hard to get? Yeah, that's another argument. But the option is there to allow you to use playtime currency to buy stuff, which that wasn't always the case with some previous cosmetic releases. Okay, so while there are six different characters who have outfits in the brand new Techware collection release, the only one that gives you the new banner is Kate Denson. 
and this is her banner and you can see here that it has her keyboard and her headphones and i guess maybe i'll remove my little fog whisperer logo here so that you can see it in the corner kind of gets blocked out by fog whisperer symbol there right so we'll remove that and you can see it up here in the corner it gets cut off but uh there's her keyboard and her headphones that's why those this banner is specific to her one of her nicer cosmetics in my opinion and the other banner is this gothic forest banner here which is connected to the gothic tales collection that would be any of these characters here this jake outfit or uh jane romero here or we also have this Felix outfit. Then finally, we have Vittorio here. Those are the four outfits that are connected to that. So anyway, that's all the information I have for you today. I don't know if this always said it here in the news. As an added bonus, a, a new very rare banner comes with the purchase of Kate Denson's upbeat outfit. I'm not sure if that was in there upon release because I know there were a lot of questions surrounding that on Twitter. So I don't know if people just didn't see that or if that's something that they added to that news blurb in the in-game news. But it says here clearly on both sections with the, the cosmetic releases, uh, the very rare Gothic Forest banner will come with the purchase of any outfit from the Gothic Tales collection. So I like that they're doing this and making it clear on what the expectation is to earn these things. Again, I don't know if that was always there or not, but um, you know, it's just something that I noticed now. But I know I had a lot of questions about it on stream and I saw a lot of people asking about it on Twitter too. So I wanted to make sure that that was clear for everybody in case you're interested in those. Again, there's no time limitation. Those banners are going to be waiting for you there forever. Whenever you decide that you want to buy those specific cosmetics that are connected to it. That's all I have to show you today. Thank you so very much for watching. As always, I appreciate the time that you spend here with me on my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as it helps the channel a ton. And we'll see you next time. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye. It's a Gen Rush life for us. It's a Gen Rush life for us. Set a hiding, we do gens. Set a randoms, we got friends. It's a Gen Rush life.